we got a call. Someone's sure. pointing guns. This is the yeah. vehicle they gave. No, That's I why understand. I'm talking to you. Yeah, um, I literally just got here. I'm trying to figure out a description yeah. for the male that did this. Penny. No, I get a bill. Um, so once they get me that, we'll... An off-duty Bernalillo County Sheriff's deputy was arrested on aggravated assault with a deadly weapon and negligent use of a deadly weapon. 34-year-old Michael Barreco of Albuquerque is accused of pointing a firearm at two patrons at a Circle K gas station. The victim said Barreco flashed his lights and used a PA system and identified himself as a BCSO deputy to the two men. He then pointed a gun at them. Okay, thank you. Hi, sir. So over here at Circle, at Circle K, uh, we're leaving the Circle K and uh, we're just out there opening your candy, can and leave. And this guy, uh, you know, he's on a PA system and turns some lights on and says, get out of here. Get get, uh, get get out of here. Take your business house, sir. And we know where he's talking about. So so then uh, I, I just said, excuse me. I started walking like this. And he pulls his gun out on me. He says, get the fuck back. Get the fuck back. I said, I said why? He goes, this is the sheriff's office. I said, whatever, dude. So he started walking and he kept playing a gun like this to us. He said, well, I'm going to take your soul. I'm going to take your soul from you right now. Keep tying in this guy. Good. The truck is going to be in three, dodge, pick up. 10-4, 1-5-6-4, not a 10-2-5. Okay, okay. Hello, sir. My name is Officer Weatherman Big D. Are you security here? No, I'm just telling you. Yeah, You're just telling So the reason why I'm talking to you is uh, we got a call for service oh. about... A silver Dodge, a gentleman pointing a gun at somebody else, saying he's going to take a soul and doing all that. Do you mind just stepping out for me real quick so I can complete my investigation? Because this is the truck that they named. Probably and then you're sitting inside of it. I, I understand that. You saw me walk around the corner. I'm just trying to do my investigation, okay? Okay, just go ahead and step on out for me. Do you have a gun or anything? No? Okay. Go ahead. So right now, we have no federal charges. We have a lot of charges. Okay, just one. Um, did you have an ID with you? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. I really just got in there. So you, you don't have a gun or anything? I saw the vest in there. Yeah, I got a vest. Man. But no gun? No. You're not pointing it at anybody or anything like that? No, I'm being called for the door. So we are going to have charges. We're going to have a bag of salt. Dead with us. 10-4, do they have a description of the male subject or just a vehicle? Yeah, just so I can work on that real quick. But the vehicle is going to be 2015 Dodge Ram Navy Blue or Gun Metal. There he is. 10-4, I'm making 2 5 now. Uh, yeah, uh, like I, I said, just got here, no, I know. So, like I said, <laughs> we got a call. Someone's sure. pointing guns. This is the yeah. vehicle they gave. No, That's I why I'm talking to you. Yeah, um, I literally just got here. I'm trying to figure out a description yeah. for the male that did this. No, I get a bill. Um, so, once they get me that, we'll continue okay. going. If they give me the description that matches you, what we'll do is we'll do a field ID okay. of the person that's okay. what that's called is whoever our caller is. We'll come sure. here, do all that stuff and right. either say that's him or that's not him. Okay. Do you have a phone number? Alright, so there's that for you. Yeah. Just course. do me a favor, just hang out. Yeah, um, like I said, we're just waiting for some of that information. <coughs> you you're not working security or anything? No. Okay. What do you do for work? I work for the county. You work for the county? Yeah. What do you do for the county? I'm with the SO. Oh, you are? Yeah. So you're off duty? Yeah. Oh, okay. Hey, Brett, where are you at? So I'm like, what the hell is going on? <laughs> I'm on the west end of the Circle K. 
Yeah. You didn't have any altercations with anybody, no arguments or anything? Like you see? Awkward. Yeah, I know. It is. It's no, super I, awkward. Yeah, like, it's just fucking awkward, man. Uh, <laughs> I know. Um, you know, you see or anything like that? You don't got a PA in here or anything like that? Is this your POV? This isn't your POV? Or this is? No, this is my county car. This uh, is your county car? Yeah. Okay. For 24 Yeah. Yeah, What's up, brother? Oh, you know. It's fine. No, I get it, man. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, like we're just waiting for the description of the guy or whatever they're doing sure, over yeah. there. So, what's that? We're just waiting to what other whatever the other officers doing over there with oh, our yeah. caller. So, um, I don't know if he's doing a field ID or whatever. So. Sure. But so this is your county car. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm okay. You off today? What's up? What are your What are your normal days you working? Uh, just Monday through Friday. When it's oh, you guys are on five eights. Yeah. Oh, that's fucking nice. Yeah, that's good. Bro. Nice. I, I don't mind the twelves. <laughs> like the extra fourth day for like my weekend is nice, but yeah, twelve just, sucks sometimes. No, I get it. Yeah, this is. I know. Watching some YouTube videos and about to leave. What the fuck? Yeah, so I'm not. I thought you were a security guard, man. Oh, no. No, APD. <laughs> I was like, what the hell? I know, you probably got all nervous when I flashed my lights. So oh, yeah, like, oh, is this the truck? You were a security guard, bro. And I was trying to see if anybody was inside, but I couldn't see, so then I was like, oh. But then I heard it on, so I was like, oh, I'll go knock on the window. Okay. Uh, I get it, <coughs> How long have you been with us, though? Almost 15 years. Oh, damn. Yeah. <laughs> five. <laughs> five. Five. I got twenty more. Yeah, I got twenty more. I'm so upset. You got on the twenty? Yeah. Ugh. Five left. I know, <laughs> but I don't. I like for me. Per, like, I don't put people in cuffs. Like if I don't have to. Yeah, no, I get it, bro. So like, like it's awkward as fuck. That's why I'm like, I'm not like. <laughs> like what's going on? I mean, we can have you sit down. Yeah. You'd be a little bit more comfy, but. Nah, man. I'm good, bro. I get it. Man. I'm doing this shit for a while. I understand. <laughs>
You a football guy? What's up? You a football guy? What do you mean? Like you watch football, yeah. NFL and stuff? Who's yeah, your team? I'm a Niners guy, man. Niners? Oh, nice. Yep. Barely made it out last week. <laughs> Green Bay. Yeah, <laughs> well, Green Bay got hot at the right time. I think their team was just a little too young. Yeah. I'm a Saints fan, so I have. Ever since Breeze left, we've been. Breeze is pretty awesome. Breeze is pretty awesome. Yeah, this is super awkward. I know. <laughs> <laughs> awkward yeah. moments. I just don't know what the hell they're doing over there. What's that? I said, I just don't know what they're doing over there. Over where? Wherever they're at. They're with the collar or whatever. I think this is the primary officer. Yeah. This is Michael. Michael? Yes, sir. Okay, Michael. So, um, just to let you know, bro, right now, you're going to be detained until further notice, just pending investigation, okay? That's it. Um, so, we do have to place you in handcuffs for now, okay? All right. Um, just until we can start some forward. more investigation yep. of what's going on, okay? Not too good. Yeah. Like I said, I told you what we got called here for, and I hate doing double custom terms. There we go. There we go. Let me uh, sit you down over here in my car, okay? <coughs> I haven't patted him down or nothing. Yeah. There you go. Oh, you got the fob. Have a seat for me, right? Yeah, man. Just down by for me, okay, man? Yeah. What are we waiting for? So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go talk to you the parking site. Yeah. So anything, get more information, yeah. and I'll come and talk to you. Sure. All right. So he said he had just gotten five six. He was just hanging out. There's a like a vest, like a duty vest in there. He's been with BCSO for 15 years. He's been with BCSO for 15 years? Yeah. And he, said, he keeps saying that's his county vehicle, but I don't know if that means like work or like POV for us. But it's, so I don't know. But there's a vest inside the vehicle. Yeah. Let me see if they're not Because right now, for what they're saying, uh, so 
for possibly impersonating an officer if he's not actually actually an SO. Yeah. I guess I'll tell you Okay. Um, is Sarge here? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, no, that's what I said. Like, there's a vest in this thing. I was asking him, I was like, oh, you got all this stuff in there? And he kept saying no, but I didn't go in the vehicle to see the vest or anything like that. So, all right. But yeah, it's a vest. It says sheriff right there. He's got a taser, rifle mags. Here's his pistol. He told me he didn't have a gun. Here's his radio. Um, I don't see. Damn, he might be a 34. He might be a legit 34. But uh, I don't see a PA system. Let me, uh, how did you do that? Go ahead. I call, uh, Zareko is going to be negative. 12 is valid. 10 thank you. We're working, assistant managers sure. coming to get cameras, so we'll work on that until you can get some footage. Okay. So let's positively ID him. Yeah. Because Tristan's going to TOT the other guy. Over here? Yeah, so okay. we'll do that first and then... I, I mean, I got his... I mean, I don't know if you can read it, but you can run him right now and ID him. I just ran him on NCIC. Michael. Yeah. So there's that. Can you, Michael Parsons or... Yeah. Or, yeah. Thanks, um, the last one on the bottom, I don't think it's legible. Is that's his phone number, but the one on top vehicle, and it's like UC or if that's his POV. He also said he works... For, been working with BSSO for 15 years. Oh, really? Maybe he is SO? Maybe he is, maybe he isn't. I don't know. Did you say the 26? Yeah, I think uh, Tristan added it to the call. So do I would probably yeah, have it a... Yeah, it doesn't... Maybe it's a... What is it, it called? Those plates? I think skip? Yeah. Oh, Hey, how yeah. are you, sir? Uh, do, you you wanna, do you want to... Do you want to... Is this Zach? Okay. He's saying an actual SOW. Where he stole a bunch of shit, we don't know for sure. So, do you want to get an SO sergeant here to figure out who? Because I can ask on the radio. Because I think let, we should. Let me talk about the impact first. Okay. Then, yeah. Okay. And then, so yeah, I'll just wait for a second. Can you, actually, can you just grab the bin? See if it. Oh, it matches. Yeah, that plate doesn't belong. To you. No, no. Oh, oh, it might be yeah for their UC stuff. Okay. Is it both of them or is it one specific? Yeah, it's both. Both of them? Okay. <laughs> I've been seeing for a while. I know. It's kind of crazy. You were like, why did Is that better? Yeah. yeah, man, we're looking at cameras right now, dude. And then, like I said, I appreciate you working with us. I know, I know handcuffs suck. <laughs> Is that better? You want to turn it? You want to turn it? Yeah. Okay. Give me a sec. Not very flexible. There you go. Go ahead and turn. <laughs> Whichever way you want it. Oh. Yeah. You want it like that? Yeah, that's cool. Okay. Get in there? Yeah. Okay. Is that better? Is it? Yeah, that's good. Okay. Back on the wrist again. Oh, okay. Can you tell? Was it on there? Yeah, I think so. Oh, no, it doesn't want to come out. There we go. Let's try to turn. Let's try to yeah. Let's try to turn your wrist a little bit more. Can, can you go? I know. <laughs> I'm just trying to find a, the best way to yeah, make no, it comfortable. There you go. There you go. That'll work. That'll work, right? Yeah. It's okay. Fine. We'll just double lock him. All right. All right, Michael. We'll have a seat. Though. If you figure things out, man, I'll let you know what's going on, okay? Okay. He's a big dude. That's difficult. Okay. <laughs> 
<laughs> Nothing there either way, really. Can you do just one more time? Like, Absolutely. I appreciate that a lot, just so we can see it again. And it looks like the oh, this one, this the reverse is hard. It could have been, hey, get the hell out yeah. of here. The, like, their, been, their reaction wasn't yeah, their reaction yeah, was casual. Yeah. This, is, this is what I think happened. He saw him, he's probably getting high. He said, guys, get it out. Yeah, yeah. A little bit further back. Yeah, further back? Yeah, when he like, approaches the vehicle. Right there. That'd be good. Because they left right after they had words. So I, I think it was just a, him doing his job, even though he was off duty, as a positive interaction, cleaning up the sidewalk. In my opinion. <laughs> he doesn't seem to be much in a hurry. Can you do what you No. And, he, and, and you can, if he don't play, you can see right, I can go further, um, I say that. And somebody, I don't think they call, somebody else wants to call because you can, in his windshield, you can see police lights coming up very soon. So this yeah. fashion probably called Oh, yeah, so okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. Nice to what you're saying. We'll be back. Thanks, sir. Okay, thank right. you. Did you see anything else from me? Or? With me again, sir? Yeah, I'm sorry, sir. I'm not trying to bug, man. I'm, I'm just trying to figure out what the status is. Like, I just really want my wife to know that, like, I'm okay. I'm not dead somewhere. She hasn't heard from me in hours. Raymond, we're going to have these guys kicked off. Okay. We're actually almost done, and we can do that, yes? Okay. Just give her an update, and we'll give you an update really soon, okay? Was that your only question or concern you wanted to let me know about? Or? Can you tell me what's going on? Like, yeah, I, we... Like, booked, am I getting released with the investigation? We, we 100 percent will. Let me talk um, just with your team, and I'm going to come over here. Uh, just with those gentlemen, though, they're kind of my chain of command, like same as yours. Yeah. So we'll come right back, um, talk with them, and we'll talk with you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. He's on a oh, sir. He doesn't want to press charges. He's been waiting inside. Um, uh, so, so, questions. Do you guys, I assume since the crime was involved with the firearm, you guys are taking that for evidence, or? So, right now, so my sergeant's talking to a, one of the callers or victims. Um, okay. To the best of my knowledge, the vehicle got sealed and towed to our crime lab, so everything right now is still inside the vehicle. Did he have the firearm on him? No, when we took when he stepped out of the vehicle, he didn't have it on him okay. when he stepped out. And what about the badge, anything like that? Um, I didn't pat him down. That officer did there. He didn't. I didn't see him pull anything out of his pockets. It didn't look like he had his badge on or anything like that. Um, but I can tell you, in the passenger seat, I saw a vest that said sheriff, had his taser, like rifle mags. I saw the radio in the cup holder, and then whatever hand pistol handgun was on the seat as well. Okay, not in a holster or anything like that. Um, I'm trying to secure his badge and commission call if he could. If it's in the truck. Because it, I believe he might have his wallet on him. So his commission card may be in his wallet. The badge, I'm not sure about. Okay. And I know my Sarge has to, I think, Mirandize him still. And get his side of the story type of thing. And that's about where I know where we're at. Mm -hmm. yeah. We don't. We don't have anything like that, right? We have to call the supervisor to do the investigation. Not a while. Do the investigation. Yeah, we'll for sure call the supervisor. Yeah, we weren't sure. He was just after all of his phone calls. He was just like, "Oh, I need to watch video, talk to this person, do this." So I'm assuming he has to do our criminal complaint, but I don't know. Yeah, that's that's. that's I just wanted to make sure that his equipment's secure. Oh yeah, and it got um, stowed in our. At our place, but like inside storage. So, it's oh, is it is it going down here to yeah. Metro Evidence? Yeah, or to our crime lab, wherever that's at, at our substation, right there at Second and Montano. And it should be an inside storage. That's what the CS told me. So, yeah, should, he should have chucked his badge in there and commissioned yeah. for to not drag that shit to jail if that's the. Come on, me, yeah. Um, if anything, say it's still on his person, we'll tag that into. Uh, property for him so that doesn't go into or if you guys able, would I be able to just pay, take this that's going to be up to him okay. uh, I mean if it's a, if it's of evidentiary value then yeah. by all means take it but if okay. not I would like to 
that okay. we secure what we can. Okay, yes, sir. Um, so I'm going to be over here in your Sergeant Street. Can you just come talk to me? I'm Captain Watkins. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I will. Oh, oh, yes, sir. You're welcome. Don't walk away at it. Just being scared. You left me there all by myself. I was like, well, I didn't yeah, like the truck or the dude, so I'm not going to have any good answers. <laughs> what was them, sir? The alleged victims were just going to get them out of here. Cool. So, when you release them, they don't lose their money. You want me to talk with them first? Or? Then get him. Um, yeah, we can chat with them. Okay. Hey, how are you, sir? How are you? Good, good. So, we're done with our investigation, <laughs> our side of things. Um, you know, we did seal the, the the truck that he had. He had like the body arm, firearm, and stuff like that. So, we have our detectives. It's like our impact team. They're gonna do some follow up because that's what this needs obviously right. so tonight he's not going to jail he's not being arrested um just based off of what we saw putting everything together for tonight he won't be going to jail okay so we have our impact sergeant if you'd like to i don't know if you do need to speak with him but pretty much that's what's going to happen tonight we'll release him the deputy here in a second okay and then if he needs Maybe yeah, go with you guys, or we can call somebody. But we just yeah, want to get him home safe. If you guys don't need him, I can definitely tra transport him home. Yeah, um, and take care of it that way. So, yeah, that's not a problem. Okay. So. And then, oh, and here's the sergeant, sir. Hi, Paul. Jared Romero. Nice to meet you. So, give him the rundown. You know, have everything for tonight, but he won't be going to jail. Just try to get home, home safe. There'll be possible investigation for later with his team and stuff, but as of right now, it will get to go home. So are you just gonna like do the investigation and report it to the DA or will you guys make um, a decision later? We'll probably have to talk to the DA about that later. We'll do we'll probably do the search on the car hopefully tomorrow if we can get it written up and and all approved through there. So I'll let you guys know. Let me get let me get my phone so that way I can get to Okay. Trying to do the search warrant tomorrow, and then once that's done, I'll give you guys a call so that way you guys can come pick up the vehicle. Um, we have it at the crime lab, so right yes. went to the crime Correct, lab. Yes. So it's totally secure. Yeah, 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 yeah. Tow shop. So that way we have it over at our lab, and um, in all reality, we all know what we're looking for. It was alleged that a firearm was used, so probably be pulling that firearm out of there, and then. Um, that's pretty much okay. what we'll be looking for. I will probably just keep in contact with you to see when, yeah. if, and where we can pick up what we can. Mm -hmm. um, and then you guys just do what you gotta do. Yeah. We're not gonna, we're not gonna press you for... Well, I know my team will be pressuring me to get <laughs> I, it. I know they will. So, and I know they'll be, I know so, mine will be pressuring I'll, me, but I just want you guys to know that. It's all good, yeah. We, um, want, we, want, we want you guys to do the investigation as you would yeah. anything else. So. Yeah, and we definitely want to make sure that we look at this video a little bit better on a bigger screen than their, you know, 15 inch, um, just to make sure that everything, everything kind of gets looked at appropriately and then we go from there. Okay. So. Excellent. Well, thank you. Thank you, sir. Appreciate y'all's time. Thank, thank you. you. Yeah. yeah. Sorry to meet you like this, but. Thank you so much. All right, man. No problem. Help me out a lot. Jared, thank Always you. Good. Thank LT, you. thanks for coming Absolutely. on scene. That helped. Yeah. No, you had it on my map. <laughs> you were good. <laughs> Anything else? Anything? You got every, You got the victim's statements, the his statement, and then um, no other witnesses. We're gonna. You're gonna get that video. Yeah, we, we send them an evidence leak. We do have a CD, DVD that we're tagging, and then he's gonna come back here at like four in the morning, so I can come back to, to upload it, confirm that everything did get uploaded. So he gave you a he gave you a DVD? Yes, correct. Uh, let me have that. You have that DVD? Let me get it for you, sir. I'll be right back. Cool. Can you help me out? We're gonna get him out and get him to OT. Are you live too? Yeah. Yeah. 
All right, sir. So we just talked with your chain stuff. Investigation wise, things are going to be on pause. Um, again, we took your truck, sealed it just for evidentiary value. We're going to look over everything at a later time just to make sure we're doing what's right. So everything is justified. There's no questions. For tonight, though, um, you're being released. Um, nothing's going to take place further. We gave your chain the report number and stuff. Um, be, they are willing to give you a ride home. So we're going to get you out of these cuffs, sir. Thanks for being compliant. Um, so let's do that. Let's get you out of here, sir. Just... How, am I, uh, how am I able to get my phone, man? Uh, tomorrow morning, the one sergeant, I don't know if you saw the other one that was with me, he's in contact with the chain. Once things are being like released and stuff, you can get... Like, get in contact with anybody like, without my phone, man. Well, we, you know, too, like just our side, if we take something out of that truck, we're violating, you know, your rights and stuff. So we had to do the right thing, too. Right. I'm sorry. So, so I guess, so I, just, I guess, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. Like, yeah. How do I do, like, how do I get my phone? Or how we're we're, we're going to get probably everything to you tomorrow. So our detectives, they come out, start unsealing the vehicle, doing their uh, search warrant stuff, okay. and get your property back. Yeah. Okay. We'll get you out of here, sir. Oh, this your right one, first one. Oh, cool. Do you have everything on you, sir, that you need? Yeah. All right, and then I think one of them will. Help you out, sir. Okay. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Yeah, cool. Appreciate it. Going off. Okay. Um, I was just wondering if we'd be able to answer more questions. I'm sorry. Okay. Um, either way, whatever you're comfortable with, you want to just talk to me alone? Yeah, I'm fine. So, um, so just, just so you know, I'm going to be doing a little bit more looking into what was going on and what they alleged and that sort of thing, okay? Um, as far as, as far as everything that was going on here, you um, came in here, um, and you, so from here you purchased, you made a purchase, and then you come back outside, I can see that on the video screen, right? Um, what, if you don't mind me asking, what did you purchase? And then okay. And then you sat you sat in the truck for a little bit longer. And um, and you were out here for about five minutes before the exchange between the other two males. Um, what were you doing inside your vehicle when you were sitting there? I was just working on some stuff that just got off. And then, um, as far as, um, I wasn't here when Rahimi talked to you the first time. Um, what was said between you and the other two guys? Yeah. And then, yeah, I got 
just a distraction. I'm waiting for my friend or something. Just proceed to this. Not doing shit. We probably should have been done. I'm trying to move away did, uh, was there anything more said after that, after that, like as they were walking away? No, it was, it was, like, it was like super muffled, it was just like, get the fuck out of here. Like a professional, obviously. Mm -hmm. I was just pissed off, and mm -hmm. just aggravating. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of bullshit going on, already in the city, man. Yeah. Like, it just pisses me off. Yeah, I saw you, I saw in the video that you did flash your lights yeah. and then one of them kind of like looks over and the I didn't see the other one. Okay. I saw one. I mean, I saw both of them. I really saw one person. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I noticed that one was closer to the, than the other at that yeah. point. And it seems like you are more talking to him than the other. Mm -hmm. Because the other one was probably, I don't know, two car spaces away. <clears throat> and, um... And then that, that that's at the point where you had said that um, just get the hell out of here or something was death. Get the fuck out of here. And so, what was their response to you when you said that? I honestly don't really know. I couldn't really hear. Oh. We didn't sell my job. Okay. Then I think the only thing I heard was something for a friend or something. Okay. Oh, yeah, you said that. Like you said that. That's right. Oh, no. I was thinking, get the fuck out of here. They left and went back to the store. And so there's an allegation of you pointing the gun at them. Um, at any time, did you uh, did you did you point your gun at them? Absolutely not. Okay. No. Okay. That is insane. Um, where where was your firearm when this was all going on? I think it was like next to my my vest. Okay. Because once I got in there, I turned off my cap, took off my shield. I was like curious to call so it's a super thing, so fucking grabs like that. So okay. I was like, wow, I'm gonna grab my stuff like this. That's pretty much it. And then um so it was I'm I'm picturing this as you're telling me it is in your like passenger seat? It's either my passenger seat or my back. Okay. Okay. Did you go in did you have your uh firearm on you when you went inside the, the business? I don't remember if I took it off okay. before then or if I had it. I might have had it on. Okay. I don't know. I'm sure. Where do you normally carry it? Um, usually a concealer. Okay. On? I don't have like, a concealer. I just carry it on. On your side or? On my side. On your side. And yeah. which, uh, what, what hand are you? I'm are right you right-handed? Right okay. Alright. And so, um, it's in the inside the belt holster? Mm -hmm. And what kind of weapon is it? It's a staccato. Okay. And is there, is it black, silver, gray? It's black. Black? Okay. Yeah. Okay. And then, uh, does it have a flashlight on it? I do have one. Okay. And, because I know some don't, you know. Um, okay. Anything else that you can remember that about that interaction with him? It was so, pretty dark. And just to kind of recap, you said I was in the driver's seat mm -hmm. when I was talking to him. He was talking to the passenger side. Mm -hmm. so, you know, just like, get the fuck out of here. Mm -hmm. yeah. Did they realize that? Did you feel like they realized that you were a police officer? Or At the time that I put my lights on, yeah. Uh -huh. And got on the PA. Oh, absolutely. Oh, absolutely. so you even got on your PA? Yeah, I see. So get out of here. Uh -huh. Leave now. Uh -huh. <coughs> and I was pretty much it. Because at that point, I just, I didn't know if they were, I, I just didn't want it, them to think that I was just like a regular civilian and mm -hmm. get into a fight or something of that nature. Gotcha. I just figured that would be the calming of a radical mm -hmm. because it was a cop. Like, let's just get the fuck out of here. And is because of your concern because it looked like he was trying to re-enter the store after it. Yeah, walked. she came out and like locked the door. Like she caught the doors. Okay. Uh, uh, that 
something that happened. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm 10 4 10 8 there for now until we get units are up. I have, uh, dude, Sergeant Rahimi, get your phone number? Oh, uh, I don't think you have a phone number. The officer's got it from you, though, correct? Your or information? The officers, at least. I think so. Get your phone number. If anything, let me grab it now, just so we have it. In case there was any. Just in case I need to call to ask you anything else, if you want to talk to me. Just like now, it's up to you. What's your phone number? But I don't. My phone's in my truck, so that was okay. everything I was talking about. Okay. Well, I was, I'll probably be working on that pretty soon, and I'll, so I'll be able to get you guys stuff back. Okay. He's my uh, me. And he has my he has my information, so. Dr. Rahimi is going to be doing like the initial um, uh, report for it, and then I'm going to be doing the follow up for everything else that comes after it. Um, so, if you have any questions, uh, I give you my phone, my contact information, so that way you guys can get in touch with me. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. I appreciate your time. Thank you, sir. A search of Barreco's government-issued vehicle found a duty-issued gun with mounted accessories, loaded extended magazines, and two police body cameras. Additionally, two empty new Amsterdam 100 milliliters vodka bottles were found in the center console. In the back seat, within trash and fast food bags, detectives located approximately 14 empty new Amsterdam vodka bottles and three empty Smirnoff vodka bottles. He was booked on aggravated assault with a deadly weapon and negligent use of a deadly weapon. Bernalillo County Sheriff John Allen has stated he will let the internal affairs process go through but it is highly unlikely Barreco will be employed with the department.